It's commentary time again. I'm sorry to be doing so many of these, but uh, we're actually busy filming the uh, big two-year anniversary, so you'll still see new Nostalgia Critics. Uh, you might be getting a lot more commentaries as well. <laughs> so, uh, And this is going to be very surreal. This is the... Sort of the first official Nostalgia Critic review. The first one I ever did was the Transformers new movie, uh, the newer movie that came out. And it, that was much more like a bum review, really. This is the first official review I did of something nostalgic. And, yeah, actually, is any of that outfit... I think the jacket is the only thing I still have. And even that I might be whatever, selling off soon, because uh, the hem in the back is really coming off. It's starting to really fall apart. This is back before I knew where to look for something. Apparently I'm watching this on the side of the screen. <laughs> Drugs are the dope. Ah, okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna do impressions throughout the whole thing. And because this was on YouTube, that's when I used to, uh, where I used to post these, it, they're very, very short, so they're only like, you know, whatever, they're under 10 minutes. And the interesting thing is that this one really does flow a little bit more like a review of the, the first couple do. Um, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. It's sort of a bad thing because you miss out on a lot of jokes and you don't quite get the feel of the... Uh, everybody loves that expression. You don't quite get the feel of the... Uh, of the movie or the special sometimes you know when you just go through the whole thing you can get the idea of what I'm going through and hence what the viewer will be going through watching it. Also keep in mind, this is when I was trying to figure out what's a funny kind of yelling. So when I scream here, that just means too damn much. I, I don't do my high-pitched voices. I didn't know if that was going to be funny. And then I found out over time, yes, that, you know, that does get a bigger laugh because it sounds more pathetic, you know, and desperate. So here I do sort of a realistic voice, or a realistic scream, and it sounds more threatening than it does funny, and, and it really doesn't work, so... Again, just interesting, the contrast between uh, then and now. Also, the lighting. Look at that lighting. I had no lighting in that room. All that I had was whatever, the uh, uh, the ceiling lamp, and that was it. A joint? <laughs> yeah, listen to that screaming. That screaming is so restrained. It's so held back. <laughs> it's actually sort of hard to watch. <laughs> See, that sounds real. That sounds like I'm about to kill somebody, but not in a funny way. You know, a lot of it has to come from the fact that I'm scared or I'm afraid of something. It can't come from as much that I'm angry. I mean, even though a lot of times I seem very angry, it's a lot of it's coming out of frustration and fear and stuff like that. The more pathetic it sounds, the more humorous. It is. So if it sounds like I'm really taking it seriously, it's not funny. But if it sounds like it's a really pathetic kind of fear, then it is humorous. Yeah, what is half that stuff? <laughs> I can't remember. I think my brother watched this with me, but I don't think he was officially, like, riding with me yet. You know, every once in a while he threw out a joke, and now he uh, watches everything with me, pretty much. Love George C. Scott. Hate to see him in this. <laughs> And this, this is what I knew this was going to be funny, when I could do that dub successfully, the, the patent dub. <laughs> oh, that's from Garfield Christmas, by the way. I, because there's no good clips of Garfield saying anything in this, so and there's no good clips of anyone saying anything, really. That joke never quite worked. I, I really thought that was going to be funnier, but for some reason... Maybe I should have held on myself a little longer, so I don't know, but again, it's such an interesting learning process doing this, because this really did just start off as a hobby. You know, just, I had the five second movies were a big hit on YouTube, I wanted to see if I was still funny. I think I did a sketch before this, and then I wanted to do a character, and uh, the rest is history, as they say. Oh, this song is right up there with DuckTales, I won't leave your head. Oh, shut the fuck up, this song. I hate this song. First use of the gun. I can't believe I've been using that gun for so long. It's just a pellet gun. 
you know, with the orange tip painted black. I used it for the Cheerios 2 sketch, and I've just been using it ever since. There's something so menacing, funny, also sort of pathetic, and <laughs> about a gun. I mean, just the fact this guy would carry a gun around all the time is just such insecurity. Yeah, look at that, I'm wearing a watch. Does anyone wear a watch anymore? I mean, we all have cell phones, there's just no point in having a watch. I mean, look, yeah, and the... Actually going over the story and everything is over, now it's just looking back. And talking about stuff, there's still a few minutes of it left. That's, that's very, very interesting. See, here, I wouldn't just say people cry. I would actually show how many times they cry. So I give people a good idea about what the special is like and how often it happens. And the more you feel like you're in the viewer seat while watching this and you're you're almost participating to voicing the opinion or if my opinion matches yours while you're watching it, the more you can laugh at it. Usually the better. <laughs> this came across pretty good, though. Yeah, they just... They could hammer it in more. Again, his yell here is very reserved. See, it's it's very held back. Like I said, I was still trying to figure out what was funny and what wasn't. I really thought that if I went all out, it, it would look, you know, more pathetic, you know, but in a bad way. Like, you know, oh, maybe he's taking this way too seriously. But no, it's actually pretty humorous. As long as it shows that I'm really afraid of this, <laughs> you know, and not having a good time, but it doesn't, like, rule my life or anything, you know, and I, I think people can enjoy it. And yeah, this whole time, every time Barbara talks, yeah, he just sort of looks at her like, oh, I could eat your hair. Oh, giant jelly donut. Oh, okay, that's like the worst bush. This bong I made at the end, the, the, or this crack pipe, whatever this is, is just, I think I had like a cup and a beaker, and I don't know what the hell it is. I don't think you can make a bong out of it, but. So, there it is. That YouTube channel doesn't exist anymore. Close this out, Simon.